Hello, my name is Omid Askilarijani, and on behalf of X8 Drums, I like to share with you some uh, basic techniques uh, and a little background about this beautiful instrument called the didgeridoo. First, I'd like to share with you that the didgeridoo uh, comes from northern part of Australia and um, many different tribes over there that use this technology uh, in, in different ways uh, with the, the same aim. And, and, and that aim is to connect, uh, connect you to um, the energetic language of the land, of Mother Earth. And, um, and so it enables you to follow any rhythm like a shadow. See the shadow, you know, follows you? Your tongue, your breath, your voice, it all can follow any, any pattern that you see uh, wherever you live. And so um, this, this, this instrument uh, is played by buzzing your lips like that. And it makes this drone sound like this. Okay, and so it uh, at first, if you if you're gonna play this, try not try to first relax your face, relax your lips, okay, and 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 don't don't become like a frog. Don't put your cheeks out. Why? Uh, because when your cheeks are puffed out like this, you lose the opportunity to activate your diaphragm um, right here. And that this the the, uh, the muscle that pushes and pulls uh, uh, your, your breath in your lungs okay and so as you as you recall when you laugh or cry um, you get that deep belly laugh and 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 that's the same muscle that's practiced by all athletes and so this instrument can help strengthen this uh, this activity this muscle in your body so that you become rhythmically diverse so if you're a soccer player a tennis player if you're a runner, um, this instrument can help you gain rhythmic diversity so you can become more versatile, okay, and more efficient and effective as an athlete. And so, um, essentially, I want to say that 90% of didgeridoo players are so enchanted by the sounds that they miss one of the most fundamental aspects, which is following rhythms, okay? So, Wherever you live, go outside, look at the tree. The trees are dancers. They're just waiting to dance. And as the wind comes from different directions, they dance their own patterns, right? West wind has its own pattern. East wind, another pattern. And you can see it has a different feel. Uh, for example, here in, in Texas, in Central Texas, the Gulf of Mexico, 85% of the time, the Gulf of Mexico is breathing on us. And the breath of the Gulf of Mexico is very, very different than the West as the West comes. Um, and so I've watched these patterns and I've made rhythms for them okay so it, it enables me to connect uh, my diaphragm my lungs my breath my voice it my whole body becomes a rhythm of something and that's very valuable because it enables uh, the body to be healthy in a healthy path because nature is your nature is always seeking a healthy path so this is a very medicinal tool it's an invitation it's a key for you to learn the original energetic language that's been spoken throughout time and space, okay, in the human civilizations. Um, so going back to the playing of this instrument, um, you use consonants and vowels like da da, takata, and there are different ways of speaking to this instrument. It's kind of like beatboxing, if you will. The traditional style by the people that's the, that that have held this very, very sacred instrument and the way to it, the people there are called Yorwa, which means the people, and they're from the northern, the Aboriginal people of the northern East Australia, and they're like family for me, and they've shared these ways with me, so I'd like to share these with you. Um, the traditional style, as I was mentioning, uh, is played by a unique style of singing that 90% of didgeridoo players don't know. It's very foreign and different, but they have, based on where they live, have created their own 
rhythmic language for this, and until the, today they're practicing it, and it's keeping them very strong as a community. Okay, um, they they sing like it's different than what we do. Listen to this. See, consonants and vowels is what makes up a language. Consonants are objects, vowels are movements. So you can actually create your own. And uh, in today's world, in, in, in recent years, there's been new styles of didgeridoo that are profound. There's a beatbox style, there's a trance style, there's like a techno style, there is a sci-fi style, and there's traditional rooted to the ground, rooted to, the, to the, uh, this natural book. This, this oldest book in the world is written on the leaves of trees, is written on the waters, and this is an invitation for you to learn that. It's a very, very uh, important university to learn from, this nature. And so, um, essentially, when you play this instrument, you first want to learn to make the drone sound, right? <laughs> Keep your cheeks in. Don't be like a frog at first. You can use the cheeks later. But what I want you to do is activate your diaphragm because your diaphragm is what needs to strengthen. It's the strength of your breath, and you want to maintain that. Okay, and you know your your nose may tickle, your face may tickle a little bit. You get used to it after a while. Drink a lot of water, by the way. Water is a uh, the battery charger, so have lots of water as you before and during the time that you play the instrument, and make sure your lips are are moist, um, your throat is moist, and so sit comfortably. And I like to hold it against the wall, maybe the bathtub. Different parts of your city may have uh, stone walls. Those are great because the sound is comes right back at you, and you can really, really get get the feel of it, right? Okay. So I was mentioning that you get the drone sound. Once you get the drone sound, you can use your voice. Okay. You can activate this. Okay. So watch this. So I'll do it without the voice, and then with the voice. Watch. And then you can use your high pitch voice too. This is really cool. Okay? And so it's a megaphone. It's a very ancient old megaphone. Okay? And so let me mention something first is that traditionally in Northern Australia, there is an entire ecosystem that's playing like an orchestra. Okay? It's a symphonic thing year in, year out rain comes and they have termites there they call kao kao and the termites make huge beautiful mounds with sacred uh, pathways like beautiful architecture inside that architects have studied in fact and what they do is the the eucalyptus trees there are 500 plus species in australia there are a few species in northern australia that they use to make the yiraki the didgeridoo um, that's what they call it in, in their language yiraki so the termites could be across the street hypothetically and they'll notice that there is a eucalyptus and so what they do is they make a tunnel underneath the ground and come start eating inside of the the tree and so they'll eat and make a maze inside of the tree and transport the nutrients back to the mound and so they don't eat all the way through because they could be invaded by other insects and um, because sunlight i don't know if you know this but termites are the cousins of cockroaches. They're sensitive to light. And so they protect themselves by not eating all the way through. So when you go to the Northern Territory, you go in a bush, you have to know the ecology of the land. You have to know if it's rained a lot, if there are forest fires. If so, the termites rush upwards and make a conical shape inside. We make it a powerful instrument. Um, so you go to the bush and you peel the bark back and tap on it. If it sounds, you tap on it. If it sounds right, you cut the tree. It's got to be a live tree. You you cut the cut it cut it there and and, and you chisel use a chisel to cut it and, and about this 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 tall, and you can use a stick to to uh, remove excess uh, barriers inside. And if you pick a good one, it's perfectly hollow. 
and then you work it pretty good, you know, and you bring it back, and and um, uh, the whole community works on making them, and and uh, they paint on them the patterns of land as well, and so having this in your home is beneficial in many 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 ways. One is medicinal. Why? Because you gain rhythmic freedom in your breath, and what's what's better than that, right? Your rhythm becomes healthy. You, you, your lungs become strong and healthy, your diaphragm strengthens, your blood gains more freedom, and you get the chance to learn the original language that you were born with. You just have to turn it on like a candle, and it will stay lit. You just have to pay attention like a kid to all the patterns. And once you start paying attention, you can take a, a pencil or a pen and draw a box and also draw that pattern. Breathe with it. That gives you connections to, to, the, to this sound. Okay, so you can actually draw and play the didgeridoo following each other, you see? And so you, you have to notice that most of our human innovations were based on this heart relationship, this scientific heart relationship um, to, to the land. And um, this is one of the health benefits. It keeps your mind uh, at ease because it drives you to go to the to the to your mother the land and and it's always healing experience to be with a mother right because uh, she's always wanting to thrive no matter what and that thriving energy comes in your household okay also it brings people together it's like a sound of a rainbow coming out at the end of this so it's like a magnet it, it draws people together right and so it, it creates community which is lovely um, and uh, you may not know this but the more rhythms you get, you become a better dancer. Because if it's got rhythm and you're moving and your diaphragm is moving, you won't believe this, but your feet will dance. Okay, so it'll train you to be a singer, it'll enhance your athleticism, and it'll enable you to be a great, great dancer, really connected dancer. Okay, so, um, and it's great with other instruments as well. So I, as a musician, play music with other musicians, other instruments, and um, yeah, so th this is some of the benefits of having a didgeridoo at your house. Thank you.